It's a popular health and fitness treatment that in just six minutes caused Athena lifelong injuries. She was rushed to hospital with severe burns and told by a doctor she could have lost both her legs. You are being literally frozen alive. And that's what happened to my legs. Do you realize the severity of these burns? I'm sorry, I, I can't talk to you. I don't, uh, I don't know anything else. Athena Martinez is a fighter, but the jiu-jitsu champion's just taken on her toughest battle. I wake up thinking and acting as a professional fighter. It was the evening before a tournament Athena had been preparing for for months. Ahead of her final weigh-in, she says she went for a cryotherapy session, something she's done hundreds of times before. Only this time, she tried a new clinic, and she claims the treatment went horribly wrong. I was left there for six minutes, which is double the amount allowed. When did it click that something perhaps wasn't right? Uh, so just after one hour, I could see the redness and I, could, I started feeling my legs literally on fire. My friend is a nurse and I messaged her asking just what should I do? She said, you should get an ambulance and go to the hostel right now because this looks terrible. Athena was admitted to Concord Hospital in Sydney and taken straight to the burns unit. So my entire legs, they looked dead. They were all black and full of blisters. Um, when the professor came, he, he held my hand and he said, I need to rush you into surgery because you might lose your legs. How did you feel in that moment? You're alone in a hospital. Your family is in another country. Your friends are not allowed to visit you because there are all the restrictions. And the only thing that I know is when I woke up and I saw that I had my both legs, I felt so grateful, so blessed. Athena's lost 50% of the skin on her left leg and 20% on her right leg. She's in constant pain bedridden and can't leave her home because of the risk of infection. It's likely she'll have to undergo further surgery. We're here to talk to you about these burns. Somebody came in here, received a treatment and was burnt pretty terribly. Okay. I'm sure uh, you know a little bit about that. I um, actually don't know any information about it. We paid a visit to the clinic Athena right. attended to get some answers. Can you explain how somebody is burnt this badly by a machine here, by a cryotherapy machine? I'm sorry, I, don't, I, can't, I can't comment. Do you realise the severity of these burns? I'm sorry, I, I can't talk to you. I don't, don't, uh, I don't mm. know anything else. I feel like you should know that this person was rushed to hospital for emergency limb-saving surgery no, I'm, because of a treatment she had here. Cryotherapy is a technique where the body is exposed to extremely cold temperatures of up to minus 140 degrees Celsius for a short time. It's been reported the health benefits include pain management, muscle recovery and weight loss, but there are risks. No one who's pregnant, no one who has recently had any operations, anyone that feels kind of faint or dizzy when they're standing up should definitely avoid these types of things. GP Dr Zach Turner. This patient in particular and a couple of other ones that I've been consulted on have had really devastating results from inappropriate treatments. They will certainly have problems, definitely scarring, definitely discoloration. What would you do if you could never fight again? <laughs> I really don't know because fighting is everything for me. It's what gives me the motivation to get out of bed. It's what gives me the motivation to live a good life, you know. It's what gives me strength. And it really changed my life. Putting someone in for six minutes is absolutely absurd. CEO of Cryoscience Australia, Joanna Licoraci, says the industry needs tougher regulations. Joanna's machine is TGA approved, unlike many others. They go into the chamber, then we have an adjustable window, so they can breathe it in, it's breathable cold air. As I said, this is the only technology that has breathable cold air in there and there's no liquid nitrogen um, to the client and the user. We don't leave anyone unattended. Three minutes is the maximum. Three minutes is the absolute maximum. You can't even go over three minutes with a timer. I think the best word to describe you is determined, isn't it? Exactly. 
determination and discipline. And it's that attitude Athena's bringing to her health battle. Every day that I wake up, every day that I go to the hospital, it's a blessed day for me because for today I have both of my legs. Athena now has to have surgery on Monday to remove a muscle in her leg. As you can imagine, she is devastated. We do wish her all the best.